Hello! Welcome back! This is Kenshin 1913 and we are Let's Play Sugaden 2! The Finale! Part 2, sort of! Anyways, in the last episode we defeated the, um, the Beast Rune in the Highland Army. And now, uh, and then we accepted our position as leader of the new city-state. And I'm just gonna kinda go through this. Now we can rebuild, blah, blah, blah. And this, and this time, we're actually gonna go meet up with Joey. And yes, there's many enemies and we need to unify ourselves. Blah, blah, blah. So they want us to be the leader of Rio slash Dragon Country. And apparently, Two Rivers, Tinto, Matilda, Muse, all have decided to be part of, uh... Oh, the knighthood of Matilda's over? You guys should have... You guys should, like, rebuild it back up. I thought they were gonna try and do that. Most of the strength was stolen by Luca Blight. But yeah, so Muse will totally do it. So they want to know if we will be the new leader, and I'm gonna say, Hell no! That's too much responsibility to put on a young lad as such as myself. I apologize. I must go and seek out something myself. I have to fill the You know what? I I have an idea. I you know the battle isn't really over yet because I, me, and Joey have yet to complete with Genkaku and Han failed. The real thing to do here is to make is to fix the room of the beginning. So yeah, now we can actually go around and explore or whatever. But I'm actually just going right to Cairo Town. Back at my house. We must go back. There is a clue. We come back to the sad area where Naname, you know, where we used to live together. Anyways, if we come over here, we can get the hunter. Oh, wow. Anyways, we got the hunter. Oh. Oh, look at that. That was nice. Anyways, the trio portrait is a painting of Naname. Rio and Joey, and the net, and this is the be better ending, which we can get if. Uh, and this ending is the default ending if you don't want to be the leader. Um, and, then, and then the best ending is if you get 108 stars. If you didn't get 108 stars, you can't see the best ending. But let's head to Tenzin Pass where. The, the whole game started, where every, everything in our future, everything started here, basically. We were members of the Unicorn Brigade, and, uh, yeah. We basically had to deal with some bad stuff here. Massacres and all that stuff. It was not a fun time. is this rock formation. Because there's only one way through this place, if I remember correctly. Wait a minute! I am in the right place, ain't I? This is 
where we where we hang out. This is where we used to live. I broke into the old apartment. <laughs> Here we go. Look who it is. It's Joey. Back in his old clothes, but still in his sad face. Yes, we are here once again. This is where our journey began. You and I walked along the same path for so long. I don't think this is where it began to diverge. I think it began to diverge when you decided to kill Lady Annabelle. I think I, I think if you hung out with me, we could have done it. A gentle world where no one would ever be hurt. Well, you know what? That is that is very naive and I, I, idealistic. The King of Highland and the leader of the Dragon Army. Yeah, so just tell him, I guess you're right, you know, we have to fight. I guess we have to fight in a final one-on-one -on -one battle against our good buddy, Joey. Is he still our buddy? I guess. Alright, let's defend. Oh, so many good. Attack his ass. Alright, come on, do it, do it. Boom, yeah, it reminds you of the old days when I beat the crap out of you. Oh, you're not gonna do a wild attack, huh? Maybe I should rip into you. It's your turn, well, let me do a wild attack on you. Boom! That's it, Joey, give up. Alright, nothing you can do here. Now the war will finally end. Joey dies in our hands. But I wonder I wonder if there could have been another way. Maybe a third option. And apparently they're just gonna show this again. So yeah, I guess I'll show this. So I guess after Rio uh Rio beats Rio beats uh he meets Joey, comes back, and becomes a uh, leader. So I guess I do see this either way. So yeah, we've seen the ending here. This is the better ending. This is where we get some sort of relief, or whatever. And once again, this is the default ending. Um, 
uh, if you decide not to become the leader right away. Anywho's, uh, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about Sukadin 3 while we're here. Let's talk about some stuff that'll transfer over. I'm also going to have a video to show how stuff's transferring over, too. And, uh, the thing about what Sukadin 3 does is, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, but what it does is, um, takes your Sugden 2 save data and uh, what it does is it is it transfers it over to Sugden 3 obviously what does it transfer well there are certain characters that are in the next game and certain characters who are dis whose descendants are in the next game that they their, their stats transfer over from this game so one thing that we get if we transfer the Sugden 2 data is we get a play next game, uh, some of our characters become, uh, or some of our characters are like playwrights, and they, and they perform, and they perform a play, um, and one of the plays is the neck lord, fighting the neck lord, and then, um, that's for Sukadin 2, so if you transfer your Sukadin 1 data to Sukadin 2, and then transfer that over to Sukadin 3, you get two separate plays, one of them being the neck lord, and one of them being about, about, uh, General Millage Oppenheimer, or whatever his name is. So that's one of the bonuses that you get. The second thing is, if you leveled up certain characters in this game, and given them, you know, the highest weapons, the best armor, and all that, that stuff will transfer over, not 100%, similar to this, to this game where you transfer over super transfer over their stats or, you know, change the, change up what their base stats are when you get them. So some of the characters that are going to be in the next game, I could be wrong, I will have the exact list in the next, in the bonus episode, but I know Fudge will be in the second game. I know that uh, uh, um, a character, uh, a child from Yoshina and Freed are going to be in the next game. Although I don't know if their data is transferable. I know, like I said, Fudge is going to be in the next game. Um, who else? Luke is going to be in the next game. Um, Meg has a daughter. She'll be in the next game. Her, her data transfers over. Her daughter's data is basically her data. Gadget's data will transfer over because he's in the next game. I'm trying to think who else is.
because what they end up doing instead of six characters, you get you still get six characters, but they're split into pairs, and you have to pick one person that's going to attack. It kind of sucks. Uh, and the nice thing about that game is you can actually have um, characters riding big animals. Like one of the here, one of the main characters, he's got a griffin, and he can actually ride the griffin. again all the important guys here uh, Flick and Victor they leave on another journey which is a shame they should hang around maybe go back to uh, the Torn Republic I mean if you think about it, they're heroes in two different places which is pretty cool I, th I think it's pretty cool same thing with Tur. I mean he really helped a lot 
But yeah, we won't meet any. We won't meet Gremio again. We won't meet a Hicks or Tengar. Vicky, we we'll, oh Vicky's another character that we'll have in the next game. But yeah, all these characters. Oh, Tuta, Tuta is gonna be in the next game. Because what they kind of do in the next game, which I think is really good, is they have like characters called support characters. Where you have your regular group of six characters, and then I think you get up to two support characters. And um, the thing about that is you can use them in order, like one, you can put like a, the shopkeeper in your support character. And um, you'll be able to like buy items on the go. Or you can put like the doctor in the group and he'll occasionally heal your group. Which is pretty cool, and they and I think that's a really unique way to use, um, to like, cause they kind of have like support characters in this game, like you put them in the convoy, but they really didn't do anything. And the next game, they actually give them, they give them something to do, which is really cool. So they do keep continue, like the Sukunin series does continue to uh, evolve and actually get cool gameplay mechanics, but, but uh, I think this game is probably the kind of part of the series because it's just so damn good. And yeah, I apologize if I'm showing this again, but um, I'm just going to show it all three times, I, and I know, I know it's people probably going to be like, oh man, he's showing us again, but, uh, you know, this time I'll show up.
next game takes uh, deals with all with the true runs just in itself, and it actually deals with the grasslands, like I think I was mentioning, and it also deals with uh, Harmonia as well. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun game. I just gotta figure out. I gotta. I, I'm not gonna post it right after I'm finished with this game. Probably give myself like a week. At the end of this playthrough, at the end of this uh, ending, Joey ended up relinquishing the Black Shield room and make the bright and the Bright Shield room. They ended up uh, becoming one again, and uh, they turned into uh, the true rune of beginning. So Rio has that rune right now, but that is not the best ending that we can get. The best ending that we can get has something that symbolizes these three guys and gal these two dudes and gal what about if we never fought joey what about if there was a way that we can live peacefully without anything without all the bad things well we will have to find out in the best ending of let's play sugaden 2 this has been kenshin 1913 i'll see you later